Her impact on the community is clear. The funeral mass for Sister Marguerite Bartz drew the biggest crowd of mourners a Gallup Cathedral has ever seen. About 500 people came to pay their respects and give a final farewell to a woman of God who touched countless lives. News 13's Caitlin McCarthy has more from Gallup. Sister Marguerite Bartz was a woman who gave herself to God and the community. Today was the community's turn to honor her. So many mourners crowded inside the Sacred Heart Cathedral in Gallup, it was standing room only. And as we learn more about the woman, it's not hard to understand why. She was an angel. She was, a, she was God's gift to us. But that gift was taken away last weekend when Sister Bartz was murdered in her Navajo home. Those left behind are left wondering why. I believe the legacy that she leaves is the one that she received from Christ. And that is a legacy of peace, of justice, of love, and of forgiveness. So I think that's a hard one at this time. She was my mentor. Sister Bartz helped Falana Buqua through a tough time in school. I did receive an um, award because of her, uh, her help. Bishop Wall says he's grateful Sister Bartz's story is being spread across New Mexico and the country. It's, it's something that won't die. It was something that will carry on for the years to come and inspire many, many people to also serve in, in the Lord's name. As for Reha Leo Carroll, the man charged with Sister Bartz's murder, Bishop Wall says he and the rest of the diocese will pray for him. We, we support the legal system and we hope the legal system uh, does its duty. And so we're, we're not the ones that, are, that, that carry out that, that justice. In Gallup, Caitlin McCarthy, KRQE News 13. 18-year-old Rahali O'Carroll has been charged with Sister Bartz's murder. Investigators say Sister Bartz confronted him when he was burglarizing her home last weekend. Carroll told police he was looking for money to buy alcohol and drugs. News 13 has learned that Carroll may have tried to commit suicide this morning inside his cell at the Window Rock Jail. Authorities in Arizona will not confirm or deny the suicide attempt, though. We are told they will not be able to comment until Monday. Carroll appeared in court in Window Rock yesterday on unrelated auto theft charges and charges related to the the theft of the nun's vehicle. The FBI is still waiting to take him into custody for the murder of Sister Bartz.